Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Travis, and he is KO6BPG, so out in California land. Now, he has some questions about an antenna that he's put together in an HOA type area and wondering why it's not working very well. He says, I just wanted your input on my antenna. It works for me for FT8, but not so much on single sideband voice. I am including pictures, and he did include quite a few. It's about 68 feet long stainless wire from a sailboat. Okay, issue. Stainless steel is not that good a conductor of electricity. It's got, where if you take copper as one, Silver is like 1.06 in terms of resistivity, or I should say conductivity. Then by the time you get down to stainless steel, you're only at about 33%. The rest of it is just heating the wire. Okay, so stainless, not good for a antenna. Now, it works for FT8 because just about anything will work for FT8, okay? And so, yes, that will do. It's been strung up in a V-shape over the backyard. The far pole is 11 feet up from the ground. The house side is 9 feet up. I used a 9 to 1, and he's assuming the word ballon. If you're going to go N-fed, go with a 49 to 1 ballon. You get them around in quite a variety of places. Taped it into that and a swing on the patio, and then ran it up tuner. I trust you're running insulated wire here. It works good for the most part, but I've made contacts from 6 meters to 80, and today I just got two, meter, two contacts on 160 meters, but it really has problems on 80 and 60. Yeah, it's too short for 80. You need a wire about 130 feet long, because the length that you've got 68 feet long is very nearly resonant on 40 meters and it's certainly not resonant on 80 meters. It just won't work. Now, you can extend it, you know, and, and get something on that. I'm surprised you got 160 meters, but really had problems on 80 and 60. The, that wire, and fed dipoles usually omit 60 because it just doesn't have the proper harmonic relationship with any of the ham bands to the tuner on 80 keeps returning over and over to get its SWR around 3.5 or so. And I'm surprised you get that well on 80. Just can't stop tuning on 60, same problem. It's not gonna work on 60. It's a cheap auto tuner. Do I need a better tuner? Thanks for any advice. You're trying to use one antenna for a lot of things. First of all, let's change it to copper. At Home Depot, you can get a THHN single wire, not Romax, it's just single wire, insulated THHN, interior being seven strands. I get like a 14 or 12 gauge on that. Uh, copper prices are kind of down right now, so you can get it fairly cheaply under $100 for a 250 or a 500 foot roll. You make a lot of antennas with that. Or if you want, you can get a piece of the wire cut to your specifications and save a little bit of money that way. Now, a tuner can go at the beginning of the antenna, you're right at the antenna, or it can be at the transmitter and run something to the 49 to 1 ballon where you start your NFED half wave. I will point out that height matters. You want to get the thing up and away from everything as much as you can. Uh, running it right across the swing, the swing I'm thinking immediately metal of some kind. And remember that the first rule of antennas is that everything affects everything. So you're going to have a problem from that point of view. So I think the use of the stainless steel wire is uh, one of your first issues. It's probably, I'm guessing, not insulated. I've never heard of insulated stainless steel wire. Uh, but it has low conductivity, and thus you're going to be heating the wire while you're transmitting. So copper wire, 49 to 1 ballon, and the tuner at the radio, or if you want, and I don't know how many, you can put it right at the 49 to 1 ballon, and it would work well there too, so either way. So I hope that helps clarify a little bit what you can do with that. Thanks for the pictures, they did help.
that's it. So if you've enjoyed this YouTube video, please go to patreon.com slash ke0og. And until we next meet, 73.